Hi there everyone. In this video, we will talk about how we can download Windows 11 for ARM. So whether you want to install it in your Apple powered Silicon MacBook, for example, M1, M2, M3 and so on. Or you recently bought ARM based PC, for example, Snapdragon powered laptop. Then in that case, normal x86 and x64 based windows will not work in your system in that case you require to download arm based operating system so let's see how we can download arm based windows and here you can see we are in our computer screen now let me open this page um, which is microsoft windows insider one may think of why we need microsoft insider because in order to download Windows 11 for ARM, we need to be member of Microsoft Windows Insider. And for that, you require a following link. After opening this link, click here on register now. Then I'm going to click here on sign in now. Then here I will use my Windows ID to sign in. And there we go. Now you may need to provide your credential. Since I am already signed in, I can see here the register now link. Now here we need to register for this Windows Insider program. Let's click on register. And there we go. Here we can see this welcome message which says welcome to Windows Insider program. Now let's click here on flight now. And let's go down. And you need to click here on this install on a virtual machine. Now let's click here on Windows Insider preview download page. And there we go. Now here, let's click here on select edition. Here you can see there are three versions. The Canary one is the latest one, but will have got max amount of bugs, which means that it have got latest features, but is least reliable. The second option here, we have got this insider preview dev, which also will have more features than beta one, but less than Canary build. But in terms of reliability, I would say it is a more reliable than Canary, but less than beta version. So you need to decide which version you want to go with. If reliability is the only choice you want to go with, then I would suggest you to go with beta one or you want a latest version and least care about reliability, then you can go with Canary. Or if you want mix of both, then you can go with developer beta. I would suggest you to go with this insider preview beta. Now here you need to select product language and let's click again on confirm now again let's click on download now and there we go guys here we can see the process of download has begun and here we go guys here we can see we have successfully downloaded it but uh, you can see that the extension here is vhdx which means that it only can be installed in virtual machine which is useful if in case you want to use it in your apple device or you want to use even in windows in virtualization environment now let's talk about if you want to download iso only and want to natively install this windows although i would say it is only possible in arm based machine in that case what we can do is we can take help of third party website which is uup term let's hit enter here and here we can see it says that windows 11 arm now from here, we can download this Windows 11 Insider Preview. Let's click on it. And then here you need to select your language. I'm going to keep it English. Then let's click next. Here you need to select the edition. Let's go with Pro and then let's click next. Here you need to keep all these settings as it is. And let's click here on create a download package. Now let's open this folder and I'm going to extract this. And here, now if you really want to see what's inside this script, then let's open and click on edit. And here we go guys, here we can see the whole script. But again, I do not want to take too much of time by reading the script. But this script will basically download Windows ARM and will create ISO file. Let's close it and simply make double click on it. And then you may require to provide additional permission. And there we go guys, you just need to wait and watch till the script to work and create this ISO file for you. And the whole process may take a while depending on your internet speed. And finally here we can see it says finish and then we need to press 0 or Q to exit. And it really took around half an hour to create. 
So if you have slow internet connection, then you may expect even more. And there we have got this final Windows 11 ARM ISO. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And if you have got any questions regarding Windows 11 for ARM, do let us know in comment down below. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.